Hello, this is Bob Mangru. We tend to think of our future as set in stone, that our future is pre-planned and that we have little or no influence on our future. Our future just shows up and whatever shows up, we just have to deal with it because it is not of our doing. Our future is caused by other people, events, and life itself is just something happening to us. But as you open your spiritual energies, and as you become more tuned to the movement of consciousness, you start to see the connection between the events in your life, the thoughts you have, the emotions you carry, and the choices you make or fail to make. You start to witness that life somehow is not just something happening to you. Rather, it is an interactive event that occurs and mirrors your thoughts, levels of consciousness, or frequencies of energies that exist within you at the moment. In other words, it's as if the universe is listening to your thoughts, sensing your emotions, watching your actions, following your choices, and constantly mirroring back to you your desires and or your fears. Your future is not like a book that is already written out with a beginning and an end. Instead, it is a book that is alive and creative. It is a book that gets written while you read. Imagine a book that has only one page, and whatever you think about or focus on are the things that gets written on that page. Now, when you flip the page, the page that you are on goes blank, and now you are on a new page. But in actuality, it is the same page refreshing itself. This one page is the here and now. There are no pages ahead of this page and none behind it. It is a one page book that is written as you think and experience. You are in this one constant now moment in time. We want to write a book with a happy ending, but this is a spiritual or quantum book. It is eternal. There is no ending and there is no beginning. So having said this, you are eternal and you write your life story as you go. You have more power within you than you think. So be mindful of your thoughts and actions because the universe is listening and it will mirror back to you not only your joys and desires but your fears as well. It will give back to you whatever you give out. So as you keep your attention on positive thoughts, positive actions, positive desires, health and well-being, the universe will give you more of these things because these are the things you are choosing to focus on and create in your future and write in this one page eternal book that is you. Thank you.